Okay, so what I want to talk to you about today is linked files in InDesign and how they work. So I'm just going to go to View, um, Guides and Show Guides. The quick way is if you hit Command and the semicolon, it'll turn those on and off. Okay, so at the moment all I have on this whole document is type, no images. So let's put an image in. Now I'm going to do exactly what I tell you guys not to do. I just found a nice Chanel inspired image on the internet and I'm going to put it here and call it the front cover of this magazine. You guys are going to create your own fabulous images. If I go to file and place and chanelperfume.tiff, let's go for that. I'm going to go quite big with it. Okay. And let's just bring this down. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go to this direct selection tool and just put this in the spot that I want it in. Okay, so you'll notice up here, let me just turn that off. Now that I've placed this image in here, if I go up to this links palette, I've got this linked file here, Chanel Perfume.tiff. If I click on it here, it'll give me a lot of information about it. It's a TIFF, it's CMYK, that's good. It'll give me the size, it's 300 pixels per inch. It's scaled up to 409%. Now, that means that that's probably not gonna look great printed out. So, I'm gonna leave it there for now, because I've no other images ready to go. But, you guys, you're creating your imagery the exact same size, or maybe even slightly larger. If you're scaling up to something like 409%, you need to go back and get a different image, a bigger image, okay? But it's all right for kind of today's purposes. Okay, so that's one type of file. That's bringing in a, a file from Photoshop. So I have another file here in Illustrator. Let's a pretend that this is the name of the magazine, okay? So in Illustrator, I can copy over that or select all of that. I can go edit, copy, come down to InDesign, go edit, paste, and here is my Oops, let's go up to this selection tool. Here is my logo. And you'll notice with it that it's got a very faint blue line around the outside. Okay, that's because I brought it, copied and pasted it directly in from Illustrator. Now, look at my linked palette. When I do that, that InDesign, or sorry, that Illustrator logo <coughs> is embedded it doesn't appear as a linked file and that can be very handy um but you know there are advantages to it and that you're not going to lose it the other thing that i can do is exactly what i did with this bottle image i can go file place um that one share and logo and i can click and drag Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, now, let's line these two up so you can see the difference. This one, if you look up here, is a linked file, okay? You can see it's an EPS, Adobe Illustrator, um, you know, it's 86.6%, so that's good. But you're probably looking at it thinking, let's zoom in, look how, that looks terrible. It's all pixely, it looks really bad. That's because it's a linked file, okay? It might look like that, but when you go to print this file, InDesign will look for the information from this original EPS. That's going to look absolutely perfect when it prints out. Okay, it's just, this is just a little preview. Now, just in relation to linked files, I can go up here and I can go uh, embed link. Okay, and then see this little icon here appears? I'm going to just undo that because I want to show you the difference. Um, what that does is it um, the image then is sort of part of the InDesign file. It's not linked to it anymore. Um, another thing that I can do, just to show you how these work. Now, this folder, it is in... In here. It's in my video lectures, InDesign magazine. Okay, so all of my images are in here. Let me just mess around with this. Let's ruin it for a second. 
let me take this logo and move it out of there. Okay, let's say, oh, I'm tidying up and I move things around. I shouldn't do that. Okay, because what will happen is, see up here, Sheridan logo, that EPS. If you've ever done any kind of HTML or web design stuff, you'll know what happens when you move your images around. Uh, the links break. So it's a similar type of idea. Now it's still there. You're like, what, what are you talking about? It's there it is. There's the image, but the link is broken. So what you need to do is go up to here. Whoops. Let's come out of here. Um, yeah, it's broken. Okay, so go up and go relink. And let's find it. Okay, it's not in there. Okay, there it is. Oh, sorry, there. Okay, brilliant. Let's open that. Perfect. Now it's fine. Let's just go back down and mess it up again. So then I decide, you know, I'll be better off having that in there. Let's move it back in. There it is. Great. And you're probably thinking, oh, hold on a minute. It's missing again. That's because I've been moving it around. Let's just relink it. Go to images. Okay. So this is why in InDesign is very important to be organized and keep your files all in the one folder called images. I mean, it is very similar to web design and development. Let's just put one or two images in here. Okay, file, place. Um, I don't have loads of images. Let's go with um, maybe this one. Okay. Put that in really big, maybe. Something like that. And uh, let's put another one in. File, place. Hmm, it's kind of the same. And so is that. Okay, let's put an image down here. Actually, I know how we get around that. Let's go like this. Oops. Now. Okay, let's have a look at that. Now, in reality, okay, we would probably, yeah, we'd need some other stuff up here. It's kind of a blank, maybe a selection, one or two images of our work. You know, I don't know, we might put some information along here. You know, the smaller type that explains these images. Um, but look, you get the idea. Let's save that. File, save. Um, it gives you a good idea. I mean, look, we've got two logos here, but just to show you um, how to get images in, I think that's not bad. So the next... I'm just going to stop it here because the next tutorial is about packaging your work. So now we know how to, to check that our files are all linked and everything's ready to go. So let's figure out how to package the work.